Shalom and a warm welcome to this international online midweek service. Blessed that the Lord is so gracious and kind, allowing us to understand who He is, and delving in deeper to understand ourselves and the gifts that He so generously gives as the giver who is not gifted. I'm Simba, joined by Andrew. Shalom, sir. Shalom, my brother. It's good to be here in this place where we get to discuss and understand more about the mysteries of God. Mm, mm. Indeed. Uh, we encourage you now as we begin the program to get into a small moment of prayer and align yourself to receive this evening. We've been getting so much uh, from our Father. <laughs> indeed. A tremendous load and strategy when approaching matters. We're learning that even from the way that he has constructed this presentation. Um, he made it a point last week to really emphasize the fact that this topic of gifts has been approached by men of God from time immemorial, trying Indeed. to help believers understand the gifts by straight away getting to the actual, what they think are the actual, actual. gifts, uh, be it prophecy or healing, the gifts of the Spirit. And they are neglecting and they neglect the actual gift, mm -hmm. the most key important gift, which is Jesus. And that was our starting point uh, last week. And our Father then led us to understand the chronology and the sequence that we will follow. Jesus, the gift, the Holy Spirit being the gift. And then lastly, we'll look at the gifts that we are given by the Holy Spirit. Mm. I think when he mentioned especially that uh, Jesus as a gift helps you to become, mm -hmm. and that what that is what makes him so key and so critical, mm -hmm. is his distinction between any other gift that you might get by virtue of having him, that gift will enable you to do. You'll be able to perform on the basis of those gifts. But the question of being rests in the reception of the gift of Jesus. So I feel like what he did for us was really unwrapping the gift that we had received. Because until you take that gift out of its packaging, out of its boxing, you might not benefit fully from having Jesus. And he helped us to understand that when he helped us, saying that the understanding of your gift is what the devil will attempt to tamper with because that's what the functionality of your gift rests on. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he has no need to try and contend with what gift you have. Mm -hmm. But as long as you don't understand it, then you may as well be like someone who doesn't have that gift. Because you lack understanding of the actual gift. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting point you raised there. It's, it's drawn me to, to think about uh, a scripture that our father once touched on several years ago, in fact. Uh, almost three to four years ago from today, mm. from the book of Hebrews chapter six. Mm. And he was describing the fundamentals of Christ mm -hmm. and how we should pull away from those and head towards perfection. Yeah. And to think that if understanding our salvation mm -hmm. and what our salvation means, if that is under the bracket of the elemental doctrine of Christ, mm -hmm who he is mm -hmm. you then have to really think and consider and ponder upon what it is that the Lord is bracing to help us to understand mm -hmm. about what it is that is available in the kingdom and what it means to be in the kingdom yeah. and what perfection holds for us mm -hmm. as those that are in the kingdom um, because we are, we are discussing the elements of salvation, salvation. and what salvation actually means. Mm. Um, and from that standpoint, being able to be made to understand what salvation means, I, I, I get excited thinking about what the prospects are in terms of what else is there in the kingdom. Mm. Because already the power that is being released with the level of understanding that we are getting mm. of who Christ is the gift Mm -hmm. about how he makes us to become yes. from that standpoint. Mm -hmm. And then what else is in store for us as believers? Because the level of power that we've experienced now from the onset of this mm -hmm. fundamental, rudimentary doctrine of mm -hmm. who Christ is, mm -hmm. the deeper waters are the scarier waters. <laughs> they are the more trepidating waters. Mm -hmm. 
um, which leads me to highlighting what our Father said at the end of the service yeah. concerning the level of manifestation of Him as a being. Yeah. That will be introduced um, when we then move to our new facility, which, mm -hmm. which is uh, the preparations are underway for that. It, 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 it kind of links to, in a sense, what I'm talking about, the sense that there is another level of power that we are yet to experience. That we are yet to experience. Um, that our Father is aware of. And I suppose that the reason why we're not able to experience that, much rather understand it and know it, is because we still have rudimentary principles that we're grappling with. And that grappling is what he called the curse. Yes. We are still trying to understand, am I... Of this last Adam's In the generation? light, exactly. Or am I attached to the first Adam or mm. my attached to the last Adam? Or is it the first Adam? Is it the last yeah. Adam? And that he defined as the curse. And so mm. you look at the kind of progress that we should have made imaginatively. Yeah. Um, as opposed to what we're actually accomplishing on the ground because of a lack of understanding like you've highlighted. It, it, it's a sobering thought and um, it, it really should stir up a hunger to want to understand more of who Jesus is. Even as the gift that makes us to become like what you highlighted. Even as you're speaking about that, it, it about rudimentary elements and foundational teachings. Yeah. The fact that we're still learning salvation, mm. having been saved um, in terms of linear time for mm. however many years we have, mm. um, it, it really pushes us and challenges us that we really need to go deep. And our Father <laughs> has really taken us to the depths. Because mm. when you can look at that, mm. he described it as an, as an amazing transaction. Mm. When you can look at salvation to the extent that you can see Jesus mm. in the Garden of Eden, mm. and you can see Adam on the mm. cross, mm. and you can draw those parallels, mm. and you can mm. see where the first Adam lost it, mm. and where mm. we uh, got it because of by virtue of how Jesus got it for us. Mm. where he became not only a sinner, mm. but he became sin itself. Mm -hmm. That's a kind of transfiguration that no one would want, mm -hmm. but he was willing to endure that mm. so that we wouldn't have to face the penalty of sin because sin died when he did, mm. and we rose when he did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, 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 ah. it's uh, a new territory. <laughs> it's, it's a new territory, and we're so excited that in the year of the God beings, where these, these, these depths continue to fascinate us. Um, where the Lord is is taking us to. And we believe that you're being incredibly blessed. Before we get to that, mm. the ability of the gift to, to speak. speak. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was that was phenomenal. Mm. Um, on Sunday when he was describing yeah. the gift of righteousness yeah, and the language that the, the gift, gift of righteousness has and what the gift communicates. Um, and... It took us back uh, to the statement that he, he said in 2017. If you get <laughs> to heaven mm -hmm. and you don't find me there, you've gone to hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was the gift communicating. And he highlighted as well during the midweek service. Yeah. What happens when the gift is not made to communicate, mm -hmm. but you communicate on behalf of the gift and you don't allow it? gift to communicate. It is compromised. You are compromising and you're limiting the power of the gift mm. to be effective. And a lot of ministers have looked at that as humility where you say, God is going to heal you. Allow me to communicate to God so that he heals <laughs> you. And we've all accepted that. Many people have accepted that as a form of humility. Mm. And yet that is undermining the gift on which the, is supposed to speak. On the language of the gift, mm. the verse that he took us to really highlighted something about location. Romans 10. Yes. Yeah. How the gift understands where God is located. You're not going to any depths to get him. Mm -hmm. You're not going to any heights to get him. Mm -hmm. But he is where you are. Mm -hmm. And it goes back also to that same issue of salvation where salvation and Jesus' death and even Jesus' life was mm -hmm. not so that we could be moved to heaven, mm -hmm. but so that heaven could be moved to within us. Mm -hmm. And it's also interwoven and interconnected and it's mm -hmm. so masterfully crafted together mm -hmm. that this, mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. this is it. Which is why we had to take the approach we took on the giftedness. <laughs> so that when we land on this, there's, there's a realization and understanding of the depths of where God wants to take us to. We're excited. We know that you are. We believe now you're ready and you're prepared to receive. 
from the Lord this evening. Allow us to introduce the great prophet. Now, Shalom, our Father. Shalom. How are you doing? We are blessed to have you. We are extremely excited and uh, also glad to so be joyous. <laughs> I can you. see. Thank you. I can see it on your faces. Thank you. <laughs> glad to be here. So grateful to God again for such a wonderful opportunity that He has given to us to come and share. And an opportunity again for you to come and become a partaker of what the Lord is doing tonight. I'm so grateful. Father, we thank you for such an awesome moment that you always grant us. We are here and we are so much aware and we are led to your presence. And we are very attentive to your word and we are here for another deeper and greater transformation of our beings. Thank you for making information and knowledge and truth available. And we appreciate you for the power that we can feel, that we can see. And we know greater things are going to be happening from this moment forward. Thank you so much for this opportunity that you have also granted me to be sitting here in a position where I can get to talk to your people about you. I appreciate you so much, my Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, we are on the gifts of the Spirit. And when you come to minister to God's people, You also have to be God's person coming to minister to God's people. And you it's a must that you get from God what you then bring to God's people. And that process of receiving from Him before I hand over to you what I have received. Paul talks about that which I've received, I give unto you. The process of the word getting received by me before I can even bring it to you. There's a lot that happens in that moment where I have a serious struggle in, in, in making sure that we, we stick to our promise and we stick to the subject. Because there's so many things they start coming up that require explanations and you end up getting to deal with quite a number of things that are not meant to be a part of, of, of what we are discussing here. So I'm currently undergoing that kind of a struggle of um, trying to make sure that we don't, we don't get into something different other than what we want to talk about. Because we are in a moment now where we might be tempted to begin to explain the mystery of, of, of the Godhead yeah. uh, or, or of the Trinity, yes, as right. some might, might, might say. But, um, I will deliberately set that aside for now and stick to the gifts that the Godhead has made available and time allowing, time permitting in the future, we will come and uh, deal with uh, that misunderstanding that most people have of the, of the Godhead. But uh, I will try my level best to um, help you understand the most important aspects of the kingdom of God. Because in as much as everything in the kingdom of God is important, there are things that are more important in the things of God or in the kingdom of God. So, if you notice, 
our starting point was Jesus being the key. Jesus being the source, Jesus being the foundation, and us having to consider that seriously mm -hmm. and be aware of the importance of having him first and foremost before you can get anything else yes. from him. Because God has so many things that he gives which are not himself. So that understanding is going to help you not just to have an appreciation of what else it is that you get from him, but that you already have the giver of every gift. So that's where we started from. And I'm going to... I realized the last time we were here for too long, which, which is not good. <laughs> Let's try and make some few adjustments. And we briefly touch on what is important today. And then we come back again. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to really dig deep into the nature or the essence or the attributes of the Holy Ghost himself. Mm. But all the same, describing Jesus well to the people, you would have described the Father, you would have also described the Holy Ghost. Mm. Because he is the entire, the full embodiment, mm. the express image of the invisible God. Mm. Mm -hmm. In him dwells all the Godhead bodily. Mm. So Jesus, in understanding Jesus, you'd have understood the Father, you'd have understood the Holy Ghost, because he openly told his disciples that once you have seen me, mm. it is the Father that you have seen. Mm. And then he goes on to say, if you had known me, you would have known the Father. So you stop trying to learn and to understand the Father. All you need to do is to understand the Son. Mm -hmm. And that same understanding of the Son becomes the understanding mm -hmm. of the Father that you have. Mm -hmm. So why is Jesus that important? Mm -hmm. I, have, I, have, I have an aspect of Jesus that I want to highlight. And I pray that I will have an opportunity to get to the Holy Ghost as a gift. But the, the, there is so much about Jesus mm -hmm. that we still need to cover as a gift. Mm -hmm. Even if you are not going to take much time on the gifts of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. your understanding of the gift of Jesus mm -hmm. will help you know how to administer the gifts of the Holy Spirit well. Your understanding of the gift of Jesus will help you understand how to manage the gifts of the Spirit. There is some areas that we need to clarify here with regards to the presence of the gift which is the Son of God that was given by the Father. The Father having loved the world and he went on to give. And that which was given, which is the Son of God, we have agreed that he is, he is a gift. And we have him. Now, the gift of salvation, us being born again, why is that important? Why is that important? So I want to show you why it is important that you receive the gift of the Father that He gave, which is Jesus, and the gift of the Holy Spirit before you receive from them. 
what I'm going to say, I don't have to really spend a lot of time saying what I'm about to say. Because I want this to be digested. I want this to really stand out. I don't want people to forget what is key and they end up remembering the rest of what I'm going to say. This is going to be very, very critical and very crucial. Hear me, child of God. Hear me and hear me very, very well. There is a misunderstanding that is present, that is prevalent in the, in the body of Christ. Um, a misunderstanding of the, the, the conditioning of the man who is then gifted with the rest of the gifts. The process of having the gifted, conditioned, prepared, so that he functions well in the rest of the gifts. That process, which we are calling salvation, the preparation, your preparation as an individual, which qualifies you for the use of the gifts of the Spirit. That preparation has a term, that conditioning has a term, and the term is salvation. Mm -hmm. You have to be served in order for you to be able to serve mm -hmm. okay. by the use of the gifts of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Your service is, is futile. Your service is useless. Your service is, is not necessary unless you yourself are served. You have to be served mm -hmm. before you serve. And what goes into your serving, now let me show you something. Here comes in chapter number three of the book of John not just a Pharisee, Nicodemus was a ruler. He was a highly ranked individual amongst the hierarchy of, 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 of the Pharisees and even of the Sanhedrin and even of the Sadducees. Mm -hmm. And then he finds his way to Jesus in the night and he gets to him and he gave Jesus a, a commendation, an acknowledgement. He, he accepted defeat. Because these are the few groups of people that are giving Jesus a headache mm -hmm. in the afternoon. It's argument after argument, as long as it is daylight mm -hmm. in the presence of multitudes, mm -hmm. they are disagreeing. But now that there isn't any audience, there isn't any congregation around Jesus, they come mm -hmm. secretly. secretly. And they are now acknowledging, they are admitting to the power that they saw in the afternoon and they argued with him, the teachings that he gave in the afternoon and they argued, mm -hmm. the doctrines that he presented in the afternoon and they argued. Mm -hmm. and then here comes the ruler, and he's not coming just to say his own personal opinion mm -hmm. because he goes on to say we. Mm -hmm. So he's representing a community mm -hmm. that was giving Jesus problems in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So that acknowledgement, Jesus would have wanted him to say what he's saying in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. But it, that level of deception, is, it happens, it has been happening, it will still happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you must be able to hear what people say about you in public and what they say about you to you. So he comes to Jesus and he says to him, we know that thou art a teacher, teacher. Come from on. God. Yeah. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, mm. Rabbi, we know 
that thou art a teacher come from God. You are a teacher, so he's going to acknowledge two things here. Mm. The teaching ministry okay. of Jesus mm. and the miracles that he performed. Mm. We know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest. Unless God is with him. Except God be with him. Now, you must not quickly take that to mean that miracles are only performed And God is present. Right. This is what I want to lecture you on tonight. Mm. This statement was not from, it was not by Jesus. Mm. This was a Pharisee. Mm. And as you know, Pharisees, their understanding of the Lord was limited mm -hmm. and it will always be limited. So we cannot consider that statement to be accurate in as much as he was humble, mm -hmm. though there was a bit of pride mm -hmm. in his approach, mm -hmm. which is coming to Jesus by night. Mm -hmm. But he's right by saying that we know you to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. And this teacher, we know him to be from God, mm. number one. Mm. Number two, mm. we also know that no man, mm. a man, mm. cannot do the miracles that you do mm. unless God be with him. him. Mm. Which is, since he's saying we, it is not just representing the Pharisees, he is representing even the current generation mm which doesn't have an understanding of the possibility of miracles, wow. even in the absence of God. That's mm. profound. That's profound. <laughs> mm. That's both. Uh -oh. mm. Mm. No man can do the miracles that you do unless God is with such a man. Wow. And, and we can prove that wrong. So that idea that when, whenever you see a miracle, you have seen God, mm -hmm. is what has really dragged people into utter darkness. That's powerful. And most of them are yet to be retrieved from there. Yeah. Yeah. Pairing miracles and, and right. <laughs> assuming that whenever a miracle occurs, it is proof of the presence of God. Mm. It is one of the highest levels of deception and those working miracles have known you to not have that knowledge of the difference mm. of the two. Mm. Mm. And all I need to bring to your attention is the miracle. Mm. And you don't dig deeper and go further into investigating the presence mm. of the giver, mm. of the gift, mm. of miracles. Mm. As we said mm. three years ago. Mm. Jesus then goes on to educate Nicodemus and he says, unless you are born again, the issue of mm. being born again, mm. why would he bring such a subject? Mm. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, mm. except a man be born again, mm. he, he cannot, cannot see, see the, kingdom. the kingdom of God. Now, notice what is happening. The question was over the teaching ministry mm -hmm. and the working of miracles. Yeah. This is what really brought this these were the two baits. Yeah, right. And Nicodemus as a fish was caught. Mm. Mm. And he's coming. He's being dragged even in the night to come mm. to Jesus to say, what we saw, the splendor, mm. yeah. the glamour, the glory, mm. the way that you teach, yeah. mm. the way that you perform miracles. Right. 
And then he declared his ignorance. He said, according to us, we know such a man to be having God. You can't do such miracles unless God is with you. Then Jesus is correcting that by saying, unless you are born again. The question was not over salvation. So he's trying to bring him back to the basics. Mm. Right. Let's forget the gifts mm. like we are doing. Yes, Father. Yeah, yes. Let's, let's forget about the spiritual gifts. Yes. We are coming back to the basics and saying, let's be born again first before we prophesy. Let's be right. born again first right. before we can do miracles. Because right. yes. there is that provision already there mm. where you can get to do mm -hmm. the things mm -hmm. before you are made to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there, there, there is that. So they are saying, mm -hmm. we know, we know that mm -hmm. no man can do the things, the miracles that you have, we have seen you do unless God is with him. him. Is that doctrine, is that statement correct? Mm -hmm. Should we go by that? Mm -hmm. Considering that was a Pharisee no. mm -hmm. speaking. Mm -hmm. that's, that's so dangerous. And yet many people who are not even Pharisees today, they are of that same idea. Mm. The presence of a miracle is the presence of God. Mm. Mm. What does it take for one to further know? Mm. Mm. How do I open up? How do I dissect a miracle? Looking for God in search for God. We have to teach you that. Thank you. Thank you. It, this would have been an attack to those working miracles mm. if I wasn't one of them. <laughs> yes. So, I, I, I wanted to come in ever since. <laughs> you, you, you of all people to say this. You've never seen miracles like we've seen from you. And yet you are, you are bringing this. No. Of, of all the men of God, Father. You are, br you are bringing this to us. So if miracles was everything we had, ah, yeah. we wouldn't encourage people yes. to go for more. Yes. Knowing that miracles is That's all that we, we have. have. Yes. We want people to go, and, and we are the ones again teaching them how to go beyond, <laughs> how to go further. Mm. Mm. It's, it's love for the people. Yeah. Mm. And also knowing that there is more to the miracles. Yes. There is yes. God. Mm. Now, it was Nicodemus who said, we know that no man, mm. by we, you are part of that. Mm. If you have that understanding, mm -hmm. you are, why is it that? I should be able to look beyond, if my daughter comes to me and she tells me that I've, I've gotten a job, mm. I've been made the secretary, to the prophet mm. and she's now working in the office of the prophet mm -hmm. and what makes the prophet the prophet it is the spiritual office that he occupies mm -hmm. and even the gift mm -hmm. of prophecy mm -hmm. that he carries mm -hmm. okay having a gift mm -hmm. and also having an office mm -hmm. is what qualifies a prophet to be called a prophet, though we might get to other definitions when we get to the gifts. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to bring to your attention the importance of the, this first gift, which is Jesus himself. You, I know you, you wouldn't be worried because of your understanding of the, um, the, the glorious state of a prophet. You would, you would be happy. Mm -hmm. But myself having known uh, the majority of the gifted, mm. I, 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 would, I, would, I would, I would be concerned. I would be worried. I would, mm. I would advise my daughter mm. to look for another job. Mm. Why? The concern is coming from the knowledge that I have mm. of the difference between the gift that the man has, mm. which is the prophetic, right. <laughs> mm. and the gift 
of the person mm. of the Christ. Mm. That the presence of the gift of prophecy mm. does not signify the presence of the giver of that gift. Mm. Why am I worried? Mm. Why am I not sure? How come I don't feel safe handing over my daughter mm. to a man of God mm. who I know to be gifted? Because mm. mm. chances of um, abuse mm are high. Mm. Why? Because an individual has just been weaponized mm. by the gift. <laughs> weaponized by the gift. Mm. And when the, when the gift is being exhibited, mm. when the gift is being practiced, understand what, what Nicodemus is saying. We, we know that no man can do the miracles that you are doing unless God is there, God is with him. <laughs> that knowledge which is ignorance has put a lot of people into danger. That knowledge, that understanding which is a misunderstanding, that knowledge, that information that is inaccurate <laughs> has put a lot of people, they, they have walked into the jaws of hyenas and lions and they feel so comfortable simply because of the exhibition of the gift. Mm -hmm. An assumption that the gift, once I've identified the gift, mm -hmm. I have identified the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Now, and which, this is exactly the reason why this message three years ago was yes. fought. Yes. Because people were trying to protect the, gift the only gift. thing that they have, the which we know to be inferior yes. in terms of the gifts of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, let's focus on the giver, yes. who was also given, mm -hmm. which is what makes also him a gift. Yes. Yes. Now, why am I not comfortable? Why would I not want? How come I don't feel safe? I would discourage my daughter. I would ask to get for another job. She would be so much excited. She's, she's, she's all, all over the place because now she feels she is drawn now closer to God, not just to the gift, to God, mm -hmm. because of her misunderstanding of the separation or of the difference between the two, the gift that the man carries and the presence of the giver of that gift. Mm -hmm. So she feels safe. This is why people can go on to as far as being abused and misused and harassed and molested. And they don't really, it will take them years to really understand what is happening. Mm -hmm. And the confusion is because they don't understand, is this God, is this God doing this to me? Right. Is God in this? Mm -hmm. Is God a part of this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you look at the abuse, you look at the splendor mm -hmm. of the gift, you look at the abuse, you look at the misuse, you look at the harassment, and then you look at the demonstration of the power mm -hmm. that you see coming out of such a man. Mm -hmm. Is this man really a sinner? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the miracles can help you misunderstand. Even the miracle worker himself knows that the miracles are there mm. to help you misunderstand. All right. So that is what makes then the power that you see mm. being displayed, mm -hmm. the weapon, hmm. the gift. Yeah. The gift. Yeah. So why would one need the gift of Jesus before the rest of the gifts? Because when, the, when you receive him, him being the gift that you receive, what he deals with, first and foremost, mm. that gift mm. that you receive mm. is not really coming for the sake of the rest of the people that you are, um, aspire to help. 
when you receive him him being him him being a personality mm-hmm. okay yes mm-hmm. when you receive jesus the person of the christ mm-hmm. when you receive that he does something to your personality mm-hmm. receiving him as a gift mm-hmm. getting him as a gift having him as a gift what that does to you the self mm. is the, the an exchange of life mm. Mm. okay the rest of the gifts believe you me i've tested a majority of them mm. Mm-hmm. None of those gifts no matter how powerful no matter how attractive none of those gifts can move can change can alter your character even slightly there is no such power in any of those gifts to improve your character to change your character to make even the slightest adjustment to your character the only gift capable of altering you and changing you and upgrading and updating you is the gift of Jesus as a person you are supposed to first of all receive the person of the Christ so your person has to be gifted with the person of the Christ now Yes. So that gift is needed by the person who is going to be gifted by the gifts of Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what your person is craving for. Right. Mm-hmm. The personality you, the self you mm-hmm. desires to have Jesus as the gift. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes. Before you are made to do mm-hmm. other things by the gifts of the spirit mm-hmm. you should be made to be mm-hmm. by the gift of Jesus mm-hmm. so the person mm-hmm. of the Christ when he comes mm-hmm. what he does is to make you become him your character 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 mm. character 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 mm. no gift can ever change that mm. in fact the more gifted you are the worse you can become in terms of character mm. I've seen people becoming bullies whether it is a pol- police officer whether it is a, 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 a military person based on the weapon that they carry mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in the absence of the AK47 yes he carries a different personality mm-hmm. when a weapon is in the hands mm-hmm. he puts on a different personality there is so much courage mm-hmm. that is derived from what he is carrying mm-hmm. and other crimes can be committed that he would never have committed had the government the heavens had god not given him an ak47 mm. where he's driving his courage from you see it can even make you worse mm. if you are not careful mm-hmm. having any of the gifts of the spirit mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it is important that you get the person mm-hmm. of the Christ because that one comes to make sure that you become the right personality mm-hmm. your being right as a personality is only made right by one gift mm-hmm. which is Jesus. Jesus so what is Jesus coming to do he is coming to train you to model you to equip you into becoming the qualified administrator mm. of the gifts wow mm. of the spirit mm. okay mm. 
so that it is known that the gun that we have released, mm -hmm. the consignment that we have released of grenades, they will not go off mm. anyhow. Mm. Let's have the right administrator to administer the gifts. Mm. All right. Yes, mm. Mm. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah, it's strong. Are we supposed to close now? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> when you want to see, you will notice that when you are made the right administrator of the gifts of the Spirit mm -hmm. by the gift of the Christ, mm -hmm. which is the person of the Christ, right. which comes to make you the right person. Yes. Okay? Yes. yes. Responsible. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. Of the gifts. Your, your proper administration of the gifts, this I can tell you, this I can guarantee you, yes, your proper management of the gifts mm -hmm. will be determined by your qualification as a person. Hmm. How far, how deep have you been qualified by mm. the person of the Christ mm. to administer the gifts? Mm. It will show in the way that you practice your spiritual gifts. Wow. Mm. It will show how deep you have been born again. Mm. Hey. It, will it will show how far the person of the Christ has taken you as a person. Mm. Mm. Character. Mm. Mm. Character, 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 character. Most men of God, you would only love them when they are on pulpit. Don't follow them afterwards. Because mm. mm. what you begin to see is, uh, okay, let me show you, let me put it to you this way. You see, when, don't, don't forget, I'm briefly touching on the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that Jesus, when he was with his disciples, yes. he's standing there, he's saying to them, in John chapter number 14, he's saying to them, my father will send you another comfort. Mm -hmm. And I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. And he will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Mm. The Holy Ghost is not only the comforter he is another. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This goes to show that Jesus, as he was present with them, he was he was also comforting them. Mm. And even the ways that he is speaking, he is comforting them, and another comforter is coming. Mm. So that's why I was saying I don't want to get into trying to describe for you the Godhead, the mystery of the mm. Godhead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But go to the next verse and you will see what he's about to say now. Because there is something that people have to understand mm. so that you understand really who God is, who Jesus is. Mm. Mm -hmm. There is a reason why the world cannot receive him. Mm. Mm -hmm. Even the spirit of truth. He is the spirit of truth. Mm. Whom the world cannot receive. That spirit is not only the Holy Spirit. These are descriptions of his nature of his attributes. Mm. In one place he's being referred to as the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And in another place is the spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. And even before you start talking in tongues, mm. your love for the truth oh. will become a manifestation that you are gifted with that spirit. spirit. Mm. Mm. Right. You see how we've limited the Holy Spirit. Yes, mm. I, I'm not sure where they have received him. Why? Because I can't speak in tongues. Mm. So, according to you, the only manifestation of the Spirit of God, which is the Holy Spirit, is tongues. Mm -hmm. But here is being referred to as the Spirit of truth. truth. Yes. Mm. Your desire for truth mm. can actually be a manifestation of the presence of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Right. Mm. Your desire, your search, your quest, your hunger mm. for truth mm. can be proof mm that you are gifted with such a gift. Mm. Mm. He is the spirit mm. of truth. Wow. How do I know uh -huh. I've received him? Yes. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Father. Thank you. The edge that you have, mm. the unrest that you experience until you find out the truth yeah. is a manifestation of the Holy Ghost, wow. not in form of tongues. Wow. 
but in the form of knowledge, knowledge, information. The Holy Ghost, when he comes, he will set you in a path of spiritual civilization. You would want to know. Mm. It's a manifest, it's the Holy Ghost right there manifesting mm. in that your desire to know. Mm. He's the spirit of truth and he's saying the word cannot receive. Mm -hmm. The word cannot receive. Whom the world cannot receive. You see? The world cannot. Mm -hmm. The world cannot. Mm -hmm. the, the world, this is not in reference to a certain country or a geographical location or a mountain. No, these are individuals that right. can not. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they cannot, there isn't any space mm -hmm. in the world mm -hmm. for the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. to be accommodated, which is the truth. Mm -hmm. There is no place okay. in the world mm -hmm. for the truth to be kept. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And I've given you yeah. endless examples mm -hmm. where you can get to see the intelligence of mm -hmm. the world, mm -hmm. that it is nothing. It is foolishness, the wisdom of this world. Yes. Foolishness. Mm. How can the entire world, the entire world, mm -hmm. all of the educated people, all of the informed people, degreed people, some they have masters, they have doctorates, mm -hmm. and all in one unison, all in agreement, a statement had to be released that those vaccinated are in danger of those unvaccinated. Mm. <laughs> and the entire world, so that you know mm -hmm. that there, is, there isn't any space for truth mm. in the world. Mm -hmm. How is it that the most protected individual is now in danger? He is exposed <laughs> when he gets into contact with somebody who is not protected. protected. The protected are in danger <laughs> and the world is in a... No one dares to ask <laughs> a question. This goes to show there isn't any space available in the world for the truth. <laughs> Mm. So, Jesus is saying, you, Jesus is saying, the word cannot receive because they cannot see him. Mm. Because it seeth him not. Who, who is him being referred to him then? The Holy, the Ghost. Holy Ghost. And Jesus is saying the word cannot see mm. him. Is he visible? Can you see him? Mm. Yet he's saying the world cannot receive him because they cannot see him. Mm. These ones, they move by sight. Mm. They go by sight. Wow. Mm. They have to experiment with the Holy Ghost. They want to, to, to harness him first and then they bring him into the lab mm. and conduct some tests on, because they cannot perceive him. They mm. cannot physically touch him. Mm. They can't receive him. Wow. The world cannot, because they cannot see him. Uh -huh. Neither knoweth him. They have no knowledge of him. Mm. And this world is not just in the world. This, this world is in the church. Mm. Mm. <laughs> they don't know him. Uh, so awesome. it means that we have, we, we, we have access to that knowledge mm. Mm -hmm. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Okay, yeah. not only what the Holy Ghost tells us about other things, but the knowledge about the Holy Ghost himself. Right. Knowing him, right. we have that capacity to know him. Right. Mm. Mm. right. Imagine, imagine, mm. we, we have that grace, that opportunity mm. to sit down mm. and get to know about the Holy Ghost mm. from the Holy Ghost. Mm. We know him. Mm. Mm. But ye know him, mm. for he dwelleth with you. He dwelleth not in you, with you. but with you. Mm. Mm. But he shall be in you. And shall be in you. You see that? Mm. Mm. Currently he is with Dwelling. you, but shall be shall. in you. Mm. But if you look at that image where Jesus was standing before them, yeah. and he's telling them that the Holy Ghost is with you ah, and shall be in you. Strong. We see it, we see it. You see, <laughs> <laughs> we see it, what yeah. was with them? Yeah. 
If I was dwelling with them yes. at that point. Yes. Yeah. It was him. Yeah. Yes. Jesus. Mm. It was he was present yeah. with them. With them. Yeah. And he's promising you that when the Holy Ghost come, mm. he shall be mm. the same that was with you. Mm. Shall be in you. In you. This mm. goes to show who the Holy Ghost is. Mm. Mm-hmm. And the Holy Ghost is God. Mm. Yes. The Holy Spirit is God. Yes. Hey. It's not a force that God has. It's not a spirit that God has. Mm. The Holy Ghost is God. I can prove this to you again. Father, Jesus said, so powerful. Jesus said, mm. all manner of blasphemy mm. will be forgiven. But blasphemy mm. against the, the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost shall not shall be, forgiven be forgiven unto men. Unto men. Mm. And then he goes on to talk about blasphemy against the Son of God. Mm-hmm. And whosoever speaketh the word against the Son of Man. So those are all manner of blasphemies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then he goes on to say, but blasphemy against the Holy Ghost in isolation. Mm-hmm. So he's isolating the Holy Ghost and he's saying, if you blaspheme against the... So but, this is proof mm-hmm. that the Holy Ghost is God. Mm. Because the term blasphemy mm-hmm. cannot be used yes. when you have insulted yes. mm. an individual who is uh, not a deity. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So Jesus is letting you know mm. next time you hear of the Holy Ghost, The Holy Ghost is God. Mm. Hence, you can blaspheme against Him. Mm. Mm. And again, you, was He saying that you can, you can, you can blaspheme against <laughs> me? Man. And then, uh, no. Yeah. You see, this is coming after God had Jesus Himself had cast out devils. Yes. And they said, you are casting out devils with the spirit of Beelzebub. The prince of the devil. And then he in- introduced the matter of blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm-hmm. Not to say, go ahead and blaspheme, go ahead and attack me. He's mm-hmm. saying, there is the sun. Mm-hmm. There is the physical, there is the flesh mm-hmm. that you can insult. Mm-hmm. But there is the God part. Mm-hmm. the divine component mm-hmm. that is contained in that flesh when that one mm-hmm. does things and you insult and you attack mm-hmm. the deliverances mm-hmm. it's blasphemy against the holy ghost because he's just trying to let them know that that work that you saw mm-hmm. was the work of the holy ghost mm-hmm. it was the holy ghost at work setting people free yes you insult that you have insulted the god part Right. Mm-hmm. That has done the miracles. Right. Yeah. Uh, and not the son of man. Not the son of man. The son of man, you can be forgiven. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's flesh like you. Mm. Yeah. But the God now. Mm-hmm. So this is, this, is, this is just so that you understand that when we then begin to talk about the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we are still talking about the gift of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> we are still talking about the gifts of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Though the manifestations would seem like they are different from each other. Right. Where you would have a man receiving Jesus Christ and the apostles would be sent to lay hands on them mm. for them to receive the Holy the Ghost. Ghost again. Yeah, that was. So, so that, that separation, that's why I said, I yes, wish I had time to really work on that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Mm. But here, here comes the question, if the entire Godhead dwells in Jesus, mm-hmm. if, if Jesus is the, the culmination, is the sum total, if Jesus is the in, encapsulation of the entire Godhead, if, if Jesus is the Father, if Jesus is the Holy Ghost, mm-hmm. how come after receiving him, you again have to receive the Holy Spirit? Yes. Thank you. That's a question. Yes. yes. For another day. <laughs> for another day. But let me show you this now. Yes, sir. I'm trying to just focus on the importance on the gift. Yes, sir. Which then becomes the qualification of the gifted mm. to use mm-hmm. properly mm-hmm. the gifts of the Spirit. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So I'm standing right here. Let's say the person of the Christ is over here and the gifts are over here. Mm -hmm. And I want to make use of the gifts. Mm -hmm. The first qualification, what really qualifies me for the gifts Mm -hmm. is the gift. Right. But I still have access by free will Mm -hmm. to the gifts without the giver. All right. Mm. 
Yes. By free will, I can access the gifts. Yeah, by free will, mm -hmm. okay. you can have access to the gifts. Mm -hmm. God has made gifts available even to the non-born again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> if an individual is not under the influence of the person of the Christ and he gets access to the gifts of the Spirit. I'm going to throw in something here. I, don't, I hope it will not confuse some of our people. Okay, fam. If you're confused, I, I pray for you. Is it possible that I can have the gifts of the Spirit without having the, the gift of the person of the Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because mm. you thought it was impossible. Yes. That is why you believed everyone who is gifted. Yes. With gifts. Yes. That he had God. Mm. God was with him. <laughs> mm. The qualification for the gifts is the gift. Mm. The qualification, mm -hmm. what qualifies you mm -hmm. for the gifts of the Spirit, the qualification is the gift of the person mm -hmm. of the Christ. Mm -hmm. But can you have the gifts without a qualification? Yes. Mm -hmm. It will reflect in the use, okay. in the okay, management, so. in the administration mm -hmm. of the gifts. Oh. That would become the proof that the person is unqualified. He had access to an unlicensed weapon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are not authorized to be driving, but can you drive? Yes. No. You are unauthorized to use a gun, but can you use a gun? Yes. yes. Thank you. So Jesus becomes the qualification, which is something that needs to be verified before you get overwhelmed mm. by the gifts. All right. It is possible that a man can see. So there is a change in the, in the terms. There is a change in the label. Mm -hmm. The tag on the product changes. Okay. It can be the prophetic. If a prophetic gift mm -hmm. is put on the shelf, mm -hmm. now, there is that, that's why there is a lot of uh, 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 cameras that you see in supermarkets. Mm -hmm. They are aware of individuals that will come mm -hmm. and they don't transact well. Mm -hmm. They come in, they, they bring out the product, they don't pay for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, it's, it's, it's just like that. Mm -hmm. What is the gift, really, in the psychic? What makes him or her a psychic? What kind of an ability is that? Mm. Your understanding of the gifts now, most people really think that there is a huge difference. Mm -hmm. That is, if there is any difference mm -hmm. between the psychic power mm -hmm. and the prophetic power, mm -hmm. the psychic mm -hmm. gift mm -hmm. and the prophetic gift. Mm -hmm. The difference is not in them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the difference is in the qualification. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The qualification. Aye, aye. <sighs> if I get born again, which is receiving the Christ, and then I go after the gift of prophecy, it is that qualification that makes that gift prophecy. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're following that. And then if another individual sees the gift of prophecy, mm -hmm. 
okay? Yes. And he does not consider the gift mm -hmm. of the person of the Christ. Yes. And then he goes after the gift. Yes. And then he takes prophecy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is that absence of the qualification that makes that ability a psychic, psychic. power. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Ah, yeah, you yeah, have yeah, dealt yeah. with something big. <laughs> hey. Thank you. When we get to the gifts, I'll be proving to you some of the things that you thought were from the devil is not even from the devil. Mm. Including the power the devil has is the power of God. Mm -hmm. All <laughs> so that you can see to what extent God has gifted mm. even the unqualified. Mm. Mm. By free will, you can go after the gift hey. and not want to have anything to do with the giver of that gift. Mm. Mm. Wow. What really are wish doctors using? Hmm. Hmm. Whose power? You call it the power of the devil. <laughs> let me, let me, let me educate you. Thank you. Let me teach you something. Even the power that you thought is the power of the devil, we have to keep on rewinding the tape. Ah. Hmm. Find out where he got that power from. Hmm. <laughs> Am I saying the power that he is having is good power? Mm. I'm not saying that. And what makes it bad is the corruption. You corrupted yourself in reference to Lucifer. It is the corruption of the personality, the character that is corrupted, that becomes the corruption of the power mm. that exudes out of such an individual. Mm. It is the corruption of the character. So you can investigate a man of God Analyze the personality and the character that mm -hmm. becomes the corruption of the gift mm -hmm. that he carries. Mm -hmm. And yet the gift was given by God. Wow. The difference between a man of God and a witch doctor is the person of the Christ. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's not even in the gifts they have. But, but, but you know, there's a difference because the man of God cannot advise you to go and kill your, your son, mm -hmm. kill your daughter mm -hmm. and, and, and do a ritual. Yeah. But the witch doctor can do that. Yeah. It's a misuse yeah. ah. of the same gift mm -hmm. because the witch doctor is unqualified for the gift. Mm. Hey. It is the same gift. Mm. 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 The true man of God who is born again would not instruct you to, 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 to shed blood. Mm. He would not instruct you to shed blood. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. But then the witch doctor can instruct you to shed blood. Mm -hmm. Where's the difference? The difference is in the corruption of the person, of the gifted. That's where the corruption is. Mm -hmm. okay. He is not qualified by the person of the Christ to become the right person to be making use of the gifts. Mm -hmm. Then you begin to see the difference in the gifts and you think that one is from the devil, yeah. that one is from God. Right. And yet all of them are from God. They get corrupted at this point ah, of yeah. salvation. Yeah, at yeah. this mm -hmm. point mm -hmm. of salvation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, because of their misunderstanding, I've, I've, I've seen a lot of people, they don't really understand <laughs> Even things that they suspect the devil to be in charge of. The devil himself is, is amazed. Mm. <laughs> and sometimes the devil likes it when you see, like with the gifts where miracles are happening. Mm -hmm. You're not sure, is this God working in that place? Mm. Is this the devil when prophecies are being given? There's a level of accuracy you say, can this be God? Mm. Can this be the devil? Mm. And I've also watched a number of men of God who have also been deceived, mm. even by the devil, mm. being men of God, okay. right. into believing they were made to believe by the devil yes. that the devil himself is involved oh. in some of the gifts. It's a shame. Mm. 
<laughs> Hear me. Mm. Let, let, yes. Mm. 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 If you are a man of God and you really have a relationship with God mm. and you pray, if the prayers that you are doing are correct prayers, mm-hmm. they should result in your sensitivity to the things of the Spirit being heightened. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't celebrate you because you pray for 10 hours. I don't celebrate you because you pray for 20 hours. Mm-hmm. I look at the advancement of your spirit in terms of your sensitivity to spiritual things. Mm-hmm. If you pray for 20 hours and you come out and you can still be fooled by the devil, where he tells you where he is involved and he is not. Mm-hmm. And you suspect a man of God who is prophesying that he is using the power of the devil yeah. to prophesy. Yes. That belief, it means that your hours in prayer are not really yielding any results mm. in terms of improving your eyesight. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Proper prayer, if you were praying the right way mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. for 20 hours, yes. coming out of such a place, the devil cannot lie to you right. that he's involved right. in most of the prophecies no. okay. that we see on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Most of the prophecies that we see happening in churches are not as a result of rituals. Mm. Mm. Push it, Father. My mm. God! Push it. Yes, it's purely manipulation. It's natural. It's, 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 it's organic. Hey! I've interacted with hundreds of prophets and my analysis and my findings, I can, I can guarantee you this. Mm-hmm. You rarely can meet a man who is in the prophetic, who is using the power Mm. of darkness to prophesy. You can rarely, Mm. you can Mm. rarely. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Most of it, information is being gotten, is being gathered naturally. Push it, Father. Push it. Naturally. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why, Why am I saying this? Why am I saying this? It's not to defend the devil. It's not to defend those prophesying by such means. No. I'm just saying, you might go as far as elevating the devil, Mm. putting him in a position where he doesn't belong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people are so much careful Mm -hmm. of the presence of the devil when they see power. And yet probably is not powerful to that extent. That's my concern. Mm. That's my concern mm. because Jesus had removed an evil spirit. Yes, sir. And they, they, they suspected that the devil yes. was involved yes, in that sir. process uh-huh. of deliverance. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. You see, mm-hmm. that's exactly what is happening. Pharisees did that. Yes. And current people, mm-hmm. even modern men of God, mm-hmm. have also been deceived by the devil mm. into believing that he's involved. Okay, how do I know that some, it's, it's, it's rare? Okay, if you see a man prophesying at certain depths that you really want, you say, this can only be the devil. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Now, where have you seen the devil having such prophetic depth? Mm. Before you make him a suspect. (laughs) Where have you seen him prophesy to those lengths? Mm. Now, I'm defending my position. I don't just talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) People prophesying by the devil. Yes. Getting to know things that you'd wonder. How how is it possible? If the devil had that gift, he would have made use of it. When he thought (laughs) of ascending Mm -hmm. into the heavens. Yes, sir. I will ascend Mm -hmm. into the heavens. Mm -hmm. I will be like the most high. Mm -hmm. And there was war in heaven. Before that conflict erupted, the devil would, should have picked it prophetically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He was supposed to, 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 <laughs> to sense, I don't know, in the realm of the spirit, he was supposed to pick it mm. that this attempt is not going to be successful. I'm going to be defeated. Yeah. The fact that he planned and he went on to even want to ascend Mm -hmm. and there was conflict Mm -hmm. and he got defeated Mm -hmm. by his colleague, not even God, Mm -hmm. Michael Mm -hmm. defeated. He never picked that. Yes. Had he picked that, Mm -hmm. he would have aborted that mission. Mm -hmm. 
So where did he then get the gift of prophecy to then give, to hand over to men of God that are prophesying? <laughs> Or maybe I think there could be other demons under him Mm -hmm. that are well versed in that area of the prophetic. Mm. But those angels that were under him, Mm -hmm. that were prophetic, why would they join (laughs) that crew that fell? (laughs) If among us those fallen angels (laughs) is another angel Mm. there, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> who, who, who is that prophetic? Why would they join one yeah. third? Mm. A third mm. of an angel. Why would you be a part of a third of angels that are eventually going to fall? And you are, you are part of that group prophetically knowing that we are going to fall. Mm. It means none of those fallen angels carry that ability yeah. to prophesy yeah. mm-hmm. to that extent. Mm. Mm. Good. Strong. The devil yeah. in, in people, even the Bible declares that had, had the princes of this world yeah. known, yeah. they yeah. wouldn't have crucified, crucified the, Lord the, King, the Lord of glory. Mm. There is no knowing there. Mm. So what am I doing? Am I applauding the devil? Mm. Am, am I defending the devil? No. I'm just showing you that you have been preaching for him. You have been marketing him. That's right, mm. yeah. Most of the people doing what they are doing Hear me, hear me. It's, it is their corruption. Mm. They are corrupted because they are not born again. Right. And can people make use of evil spirits to do certain, what makes it evil? Understand what? <laughs> Explain it further. Explain it further. Explain it further. But is it possible? Is it possible that a man can have a gift of the Holy Spirit and not to have the Holy Spirit. Can a man have the gift of healing? Can a person heal the sick and he doesn't have God? Mm-hmm. It's possible. Okay, I'll give you a scripture. Yes. I'll give you a scripture. Uh-huh. Where it was declared explicitly, mm-hmm. explicitly it was declared that it is possible not even implicitly. Mm-hmm. It's not implying. Okay. It's explicitly saying mm-hmm. there is such a possibility mm-hmm. where you can have an individual having a gift mm-hmm. and not having the giver of the gift. Mm-hmm. Matthew chapter 7, verse number 22. Many will say to me in How many? That many. How many? many? Many. And who is saying many? Jesus. When he says many, that number is huge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And hear what the many mm-hmm. shall say mm-hmm. unto him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lord, Lord, mm-hmm. have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not prophesied in thy name? Mm-hmm. Okay? Yes. And I told you before, mm-hmm that you would not have the guts to look at him in the face and call him Lord, Lord, Lord. and you lie to him that it was his name that you used. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless that was his name uh-huh. that you used. Mm. Mm. At that time, you, you, in his presence, mm. you cannot lie. Having used Juju to prophesy, mm. you can't tell him that it was your name. Mm. Mm. It must have been his mm. name mm-hmm. that they used to prophesy. Right. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And in thy name have cast out devils. Not a charm. Mm-hmm. We removed de- demons mm-hmm. in thy name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It also did what? And wonders. in thy name done many wonders. Many what? Those are miracles. Yeah. Again in thy name. Name. Not an evil spirit. These are not people that have been cooked in, 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 in containers and boiled in oil and so No, no, no. It was his name that they used. Yeah. And then what is he going to say? And then will I con- profess unto them. I, this is what I will say uh, unto them. I never, never knew you. you. Mm. The knowing there is experiential. My God. 
the unity, mm. the born again, mm. the salvation. Mm. We never interacted mm. in person to person. I've never had an experience with mm. you. So you skipped that part where you must have received the person of the Christ. Okay. The knowing there is mm. intimacy. Yes. That's the knowing. Mm. So we were never intimate. So you jumped on, you went on on a shopping spree and you, 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 you came out with a trolley <laughs> full of gifts. <laughs> Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. this is proof. Mm. I never knew you. We were never together. Mm. No relationship. Mm. We have never met. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yet my name is that big that it can be used mm. for other purposes. Mm. 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 So it's so explicit that it is possible mm. for a person who has never known God mm. to do the things of God. Mm to work for God. Mm. I never knew you. Mm. We have never been in one place. You are not born again. Mm. 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 Guys, you are casting out demons. You, yet you are not, you skipped the first part. Right. You omitted the part that, that Makandio talked about. <laughs> the first yes. gift. Yes. Which is yes. myself. Mm. Mm, mm. Uh -huh. Keep on reading. Mm. Depart from me. Depart yes. from me. Ye that work, work iniquity. iniquity. The condition of without law, mm. illegality, iniquity. My God. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. It goes back to the qualification. Yes. 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 <laughs> Depart from me. Ye what that work, work iniquity. So he's confirming that it was work that they were doing. <laughs> they called it ministry. Ah. He calls it iniquity. Mm. Their ministry, to think that iniquity had a logo <laughs> hey. of the ministry. <laughs> that iniquity had a constitution. Ay, 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 that ay. iniquity had directors. Ay, 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 so you see now the terms. Mm. What you thought was the work of God, what you thought was prophecy, what you thought was deliverance, because you are unqualified for that service, mm. Mm -hmm. is what cause, what makes it iniquity, mm. the condition mm -hmm. of the gifted. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The state Thank you. of the gifted. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And he's, he agrees, he says, yes, you were working, but what you were doing is iniquity. I wish I had time to really explain. So what was really the iniquity? Wow. If what they were working was iniquity, mm. what exactly was happening as they were ministering? Explain it, Father. Explain it. Help us. It is the multiplication mm -hmm. of rebelliousness to the laws of God as they were serving, even as they were delivering mm -hmm. the oppressed. Yes. As they were healing the sick. Yes. yes. As they were doing wonders, as they were prophesying. Yes. yes. If Jesus calls that the work of iniquity, uh -huh. mm -hmm. we must be able to see beyond yeah. the, that service, prophetic service that mm -hmm. was conducted. Uh -huh. What else really was the man who is not of God doing? Mm. What else was he doing? <sighs> if we must be able to derive, let's find the work of iniquity in that prophecy. What was the work of iniquity hey. in that deliverance? Mm. Hey. Help us to analyze this. The actual work. There is, a, there is a work of iniquity. They were really working, but the work is iniquity. iniquity. But using the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Explain it first. So, their lack of qualification to use the gift mm -hmm. yes. will put a dent on the recipients Members, mm. people of such a gathering must understand a work that is taking place when such gifts are on display. The danger of being present mm. in such a place where the man that is gifted with the gifts of the Spirit of God is not gifted with the gift of, of the Christ. Yes. Whatever he does becomes the work of iniquity. That's where we, those people, they fit even the same list of the witch doctors. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
What makes it the work of iniquity is the unqualified pers- personnel mm-hmm. that is making use of those instruments. And there's a multiplication. It is, it's amazing how people can be, can be in a place where you see miracles happening at a greater magnitude. And from that place, they continue sinning. Superbly explained. Thank you. Thank why, you. why is it that mm. after you have had an experience, mm. Mm. after you have encountered a gift being exhibited mm. at a magnitude that is that is that is that is beyond what you have seen, what you have known, what you have perceived, you see it, and from such a place, you are not afraid of sinning. No fear of God. Ah. Thank you. When a gift does not improve your fear, your reverence yeah, yeah. of God, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. what you've witnessed is a work of iniquity. Oui. And there is nothing, and this is going to help you understand how to measure mm. how far the man that is being used by God is qualified to be using those gifts or is unqualified. If you are the one that is gifted, you want to be sure first of all that do you have the gift of the Christ or is the gift from Christ that you have? How do you know? Even as a man of God, if you want to measure, mm-hmm. you will notice that if you look at the gifts, let's say you have got nine or let's say you have got 15 or you have got 20 mm-hmm. different gifts of the spirit that you operate in. Mm-hmm but you're not sure of the gift mm. of the person, which becomes your qualification mm-hmm. as a person to use the gifts, yes. right? Yes. How people are following. following yes. for, <laughs> How do you check? Mm-hmm. You must be able to look at the, do you know that when you look at the gifts that you have, the weight of the gift the tonnage mm-hmm of the gift, the aura Mm -hmm. of the gift, its ability to convict Mm -hmm. a sinner is derived from your personality, from your character. That gift in itself will not carry any weight Mm. The weight of the gift will be derived from your person, yes. from your character. Yes. This is why if you are not careful in terms of developing your character well, you can become the most accurate prophet mm-hmm. and yet you carry less weight. And you wonder in terms of content, you, you, you prophesy more. Okay. Okay. And you have another prophet prophesying less, but that less derives more weight from his character. All right. And you keep wondering. Mm-hmm. When you try to compare the two, you keep arguing over what was said in terms of content, not in terms of quality. Yes, content. Content. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Phenomenal. It's a lot of things said. That's phenomenal. And yet when people meet you face to face, they there is there is no relationship. Yeah. Your life is a contradiction right. of that gift. All right. So you will hear that that's that's why even in the Bible, I don't know those that were classifying prophets. Hmm. They were minor prophets, they were major prophets in the Bible. Yes, Father. But that doesn't mean that those minor prophets, their prophecies were minor or those major, their prophecies. Understand what is happening. Mm. You, you, you struggle with that as a gifted person right. for the rest of your ministry. Okay. As a child of God, you will be wondering, how come I'm healing more? And when someone comes and he heals less, mm. Mm. people see that. Mm. 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 Sinners are convicted. Mm. People are crying. Mm. People get born again. Mm. 
there's a change of lifestyles. Mm. And then you wonder, but I'm doing more than that. Mm. No, the more that you are doing has no way to get to weight from in terms of your character. So you want to improve on the depth of your gift. Forget about the gift. We'll get to the gifts. Mm -hmm. Right now, just focusing on the importance of the Christ himself. Forget about the gifts. Somebody who has received the gift. Yes. If he does so little in terms of the gifts, <laughs> the outcome, the result, mm -hmm. is the opposite of the work of iniquity. Mm -hmm. If you are not born again, mm -hmm. and then you find yourself executing and making use of the rest of the gifts, Yes, it comes back to you, they consider you a man of God, they consider you a prophet, they consider you a miracle worker, they consider... But you see in the lives of the people who are consumers of those products yes. Yes. that they are deficient. Mm. They are malnourished. Mm -hmm. It is the work of iniquity. The name of the Lord is being used by somebody who is not even authorized. Mm. Can you use the name of Jesus and demons manifest? Yes. Sons of Sceva. Mm. Yes. Mm. yes. It was the name of Jesus that Paul preaches yes. that they used. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there was a manifestation. Yes. That name can be used. So, what he's saying here is, these are many. And these many that were casting demons mm -hmm. in his name yes. were being accused. Mm of using charms, of using the power of the devil. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus himself is telling us they are many. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These never went to the river. They didn't go under the sea mm. to get powers. No, it was the name of the Lord that they used, yet they were not born again. Ah, yes, yeah, we believe that, but there's also another group that are really into rituals and they use, okay, this is what I'm saying now. What makes them do rituals is the lack of qualification. Yeah. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Yeah. And they end up having access to the gifts mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. The name doesn't change. They're of God. They're of God. Right. Because right. the power that the devil has mm -hmm. was from God. Mm -hmm. Thou was an anointed cherub. Mm -hmm. Who anointed? Who anointed Lucifer? God. 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 Mm -hmm. The devil carries an anointing that he got from God. Mm -hmm. Mm. Whichever way that you see it manifesting, it's an anointing of the devil that he got from God. But because he was corrupted, his personality, mm -hmm. his character got uh, uh, contaminated. Mm. Mm. It, will, it, will, it will reflect in the way that he executes those gifts. Mm. Mm. So I, I, hope, I hope people are following ah. this. So where you thought the devil was at work, all you need is to have access to the gifts of God without the gift of God. The gifts of God mm. without the gift mm. of God, which is the son that was given. Mm. 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 From that moment, you're a witch doctor. It's as simple as that. Mm. That is what makes you a witch doctor. That is what makes you a wizard. Mm. That is what makes you a witch. The gifts without the giver. Is the gifts. <laughs> the absence of the giver of those gifts, the absence of God, mm -hmm. the person of God mm -hmm. coming to qualify your person to become the right administrator for the gifts. Yeah. Yeah. You would administer those gifts in a wrong way. Mm. Pastors, this, isn't, isn't this amazing? Mm. But now we are getting to hear, to think that Jesus said it how many thousands of years ago, that these are many using his name. But those ones that are using his name are being accused mm. of using something else other than the, the name of the Lord. Yeah. It's the name of Jesus. <sighs> my, my. Think about that for a moment. My, my. How many have been accused? And they are wondering, because even themselves, when they keep being accused, mm. even themselves, they, they wonder. Mm. They can't remember ever going to any witch doctor. Mm. Yet they see the power. Mm. 
if they say Jesus, something happens. Mm -hmm. And they are wondering, so how are we going to set ourselves free? How are we going to cleanse ourselves from this accusation? They also, even themselves, they don't even know. Mm. Yet the question is the absence of the giver, mm. of the gifts. Mm. Father. Where, where is that demon mm. that has that ability? Mm. Okay, if we talk of witch doctors, you've, you've heard several witch doctors saying that I give power. Yes even to men of God, yes, yes. okay? But they don't even, even when they come out and they say that um, even pastors, they come to me and I give them power mm -hmm. to have people come yes. and to do some miracles mm -hmm. and to do this and to do. They have gone as far as exposing their clients, mm -hmm. but they, they, they don't even show you a bit of that. <laughs> They've given <laughs> Yet still they are believed. <laughs> That's how the devil is marketing himself into... He, he, he wants to get involved. When they saw the miracle, mm. the deliverance, mm. the enemy influenced people right. to say, I'm part of that deliverance. Yeah. And they said, you're casting out demons That's with Beelzebub. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the devil knows that he cannot, he's not good at producing that particular product. So he does, what he does is he's wait, he waits for you to finish mm -hmm. creating the product and he comes and he removes the tag. Mm -hmm. And then he puts his name. Mm, hey. And they start accusing. Yes. They, they suspect the devil is involved in that. Mm -hmm. Don't look for the devil away from the administrator ah. of that gift. Right. Right. Look for the devil on the administrator. On the administrator. Yeah. If the administrator is not born again, right. whatever he is doing, right. making use of the gifts of God mm -hmm. becomes the work of iniquity. Hey. Is the man born again? Has Christ, the person, yeah. changed his personality? Wow. The man of God. Wow. Yes. That's key now. Mm -hmm. Why should I be afraid? Why can I not let you, after having seen you heal the sick, why can I not let you accompany my daughter yeah. in the night? Mm -hmm. Why is it I cannot have my daughter sleep in your house, mm -hmm. being that gifted? Mm -hmm. What makes me afraid is the absence of the person that influences your personality. Right. And I'm aware of that. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why are people not comfortable? Why are children, why are daughters being abused by the most gifted? Mm -hmm. Because the gifts have become the lures, mm -hmm. the baits. Mm -hmm. You draw closer to the most evil person because you thought no man can do such miracles unless God is with him. Are you following what I'm saying? I'm following. It's explosive, Father. Are following it's explosive so salvation becomes key if you're ever going to forget everything please don't forget this next time you encounter a man that is gifted you must go further and beyond is the gifted man mm -hmm. gifted with the gifts of the spirit is he also gifted with the gift of christ mm -hmm. is the man born again how do you know? He can be doing what he's doing in terms of character. Unless it is a sign that he is not born again. Mm. Mm. Don't measure this gift by those gifts. Mm. Those gifts is not a sign that this gift is present. Mm. Mm -hmm. Those gifts were given. This is why they are called gifts. <laughs> gifts. They are given and people can pick them up at any time. And they lay their hands on you and you can recover. You live a good life. If you get to heaven, you might not find the person who prayed for you. Where is he? It was a gift of God that he got and he never got the giver of that gift. Stop marrying the two. That statement by Nicodemus that no man can do such miracles unless God is with him, it's false. It's not accurate. 
It's false. That's why Jesus said, unless you are born again, he brought, he took the entire, he forgot about the gifts. Let's forget about it. Let's go about it. Let's go to the source, salvation. Be born again. You must be born again. And these are many. So how are you going to know? Don't be told by people. I've given you an example of things that I've researched practically, wanting to know how do they prophesy? Mm -mm. Those that prophesy, what are they using? Mm. Most fake prophets, hear me, most of them, even you, you have been accusing them, their sin actually is, not be, is just not being born again. Mm. Majority of them, they are just not born. There is no power whatsoever. If somebody has got a charm under the desk, under the pulpit that tells him information, you don't, you don't, he doesn't need to be using information from Facebook. Mm, yeah. You don't need that. Mm -hmm. If you have been cooked very well. Mm. You don't need a team of counselors getting information from members mm -hmm. and then they give you information. Yeah. It, means, it means there is no ritual there. Yes. There is no supernatural. There is no super, even if there is a mishap, in that church, even if people die, it's not even a ritual. Mm. Mm. Ah. But yet, even men of God, some men of God, yeah. some men of God mm -hmm. who appear to be very, very spiritual, mm -hmm. they seem to be sensing the devil. In, in that miracle, the, is the <laughs> devil. Is, uh, no, no, no. Uh. No, no, no. Mm. Some people are faking it physically. Mm. where a person who was not sick gets healed. You don't do that when you are, when you are making use of, 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 of evil spirits. Yes. There is no gift. They are not, they, they are not gifted to all, some of them. Mm. It's simply faking it. Mm. You don't need to spend seven days in a dark cave mm. and then you come out and then you, you, you hire people, you pay them money. And then you say, say, I, I, I'm healed. Mm. You, do, you don't need a cave for that. Cave. You just need money. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So there are no rituals. Mm. 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 But those doing it, yes. and there is actually power, mm -hmm. there is actually miracles, yes. there is actually deliverance. Yes. Mm. The issue is they are not born again. Mm -hmm. Which then makes that work the work of iniquity. Mm -hmm. It multiplies your, even your stubbornness. Mm. When you draw closer okay. to a man who is gifted mm -hmm. in all of these other gifts, mm. and there is no gift of God, mm -hmm. you will feel it. Mm. Being close to him, there are things that you always, you, you, yes, you're struggling, but you're always wanting to be better. Yes. You have a list of sins that you say, I cannot do this, being close to such a man. When such a man starts to influence your uprightness, I can't be saving God under such a man and be doing what I'm doing. I can't be committing sin and then I'm next to the man of God mm -hmm. next time. That conscience, if it dies down, it, we're not quickly blaming the man that you're saving. Mm -hmm. You might be the, the wrong guy also present in the presence of the holy man of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whole, the Bible refers to holy, holy men of God. We're moved mm -hmm. yes. by the spirit when they wrote mm -hmm. holy men of God. That holiness of the man of God is what makes the gift that they carry heavy. Yeah. The heaviness, yeah. the density yeah. of their gifting is derived from their improved character. Mm. When God has worked on your character, you go on and work miracles and you will see. Mm. You don't need to, to be struggling in that area. Mm. You don't need to fake it mm. because he's present. The moment you introduce him into the matter, miracles are bound to happen mm. because he's present. Mm. And the outcome, the conviction, mm. 
the change of lives of the people around yes. that territory mm -hmm. becomes a proof that before the gifts, there was the gift, right. which is God himself present amongst the people. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to work on that so that we know the importance. Mm. Even if I'm not going to get it, you see, give some, I'm, I'm, I'm borrowing <laughs> one gift at a time from there, bringing them here, mm. so that you know the importance of the greatest gift yes. of them all, which is Jesus. Yes. I'm slowly showing you that once you have this, mm. ah, what else? Would you want? You know that whatever I'm going to be made to do by the gifts, I am that I've been made to be by the gift. Mm. Mm. I am what I am because of the, the gift. gift. Yes. Then later on, I want to know what can I do? Right. Having been that, what now can I do? Right. So all those gifts are coming so that the, you, you help other people, but you must have been helped first, you yourself, by the gift. Right. Yes. Before you have gifts to help other people. Mm. Okay? Yes. Are you delivered yourself first? Are you free yourself first? Are you out of danger yourself first? Mm. Before you start pulling other people out of danger, mm. you must be equipped enough. If you are a firefighter, there is an attire that is required for that kind of service. Are you clothed in Christ mm. so that in him you move and you have your being? Mm. Is he your covering mm. before you start delivering people mm. from their mess? Mm. So what qualifies you is salvation. Mm. You have to be born again. Mm. I don't know if I've, I've done justice to, yes. to that. I polished. <laughs> <laughs> but you will hear people, they still want the devil to be the one doing exploits. Yeah. They, do, they don't like this kind of a message where we, we, we say, no, that, that, that's not the case. They, don't, they, they want it to be demons. They want it to be, they want witch doctors to be involved. Mm. Any witch doctor that you come across and he tells you, mm. I have seven men of God, big, that have mm. come to me. The next, whoever is interviewing must then ask, okay, you have given them that grace to prophesy. Talk to, tell me. Yes. Yeah. Go to that same depth. Yes. I'm here. Prophecy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a family. You don't know where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that I know it's you. Yes. They got it from you. Mm. Mm. So it's the devil who has sent even men of God to market himself. Mm. Now you believe the devil is involved when you see a miracle. Mm. But even if it was the devil, even if those were demons, yes. my question is, they got the power from where? From where? From God's death. That's the power of God. Mm, 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 mm. So what makes it evil is the personality. Yes. Not being born again yes. is what makes even the gift, a true gift of the Holy Spirit. Mm will manifest like an evil spirit, like a demon. Mm. If the administrator is not born again, is unqualified mm -hmm. to be using those gifts, mm -hmm. it becomes the work of iniquity. Wow. And you have to run away. Wow. 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 And don't run away if you are, if you are part of it. <laughs> but if you are born <laughs> again, <laughs> even if it happens in your presence, you will not be infected. Mm -hmm. There's no contamination, there's no transmission because you are vaccinated yes, properly. Yes, yes. But you will know. Yeah. But then when you hear other people saying, oh, 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 oh those are evil. That, that person is really wicked. Mm. He has been with the devil and so on. Yet the devil cannot do those things that we see him do. Mm. That was a clear example yes. of the devil, of his inability to prophesy. Yes. He never predicted his own fall. Mm -hmm. So where are these men of God getting that power to predict for? <laughs> can't, he, can't be him. He doesn't, he can, he doesn't have that. He doesn't, he, yeah, the guy doesn't know what he's having. <laughs> he, was, he was shocked. In his understanding, his intelligence, he was so sure. Mm. But he his blood, yes. Why would you think like that? Mm. Being, being prophetic. 
Yes. To then have that gift to give to to men of God to prophesy. Right. Okay. Those are purely gimmicks. Mm. Mm. Those doing it are doing it naturally. Mm-hmm. Physically. Mm. Huh? Yes. Manually. <laughs> Manually. But also those doing it spiritually. Yes. It is spiritual. With the administrator. The administrator now who is not born again might be making use of the gifts mm. of the spirit those abilities came from god mm-hmm. to prophesy so father you're giving us clarity on two areas here if 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 i can just try and summarize a, a section of what you've said you've made it so clear that it's not prophecy if the individual is not born again mm. it is a spiritual work but it is not called prophecy they can foretell but it is not the word prophecy must be eliminated from mm-hmm. it's a psychic activity a psychic, psychic. activity mm-hmm. uh-huh. and then the second aspect is that this individual who's now doing it as they're exercising this psychic ability mm-hmm. there is an infection that is happening to the recipients who are not born again yes and increase our multiplication of, of iniquity. iniquity yes are we saying that their prospects of salvation are affected by being under such administration but you say they are not born again but they are not born again but their so, prospects of mm-hmm. possibly mm-hmm. becoming born again it is affected mm-hmm. it is affected definitely mm-hmm. Yeah because remember this is the work of iniquity. Yes. You are further drowned into unbelief. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. Into more this is why you, there are people that you can see today that have been uh exposed mm. to some of these gifts. Mm. And some of them have gone on to say Uh, I, I no longer love God. Because mm. if a person that you have held with high esteem mm. and you considered him to be a God, which was wrong, based on the gift. Mm-hmm. And then he comes and he proposes you. Mm-hmm. and he sleeps with you. Mm-hmm. You are left in a state where you are bound to not want to hear anything to do with church again. Mm-hmm. I don't know how the devil does it. Mm-hmm. Anyone that you would then see even on television doing the same things. Mm-hmm. Not sleeping with women. They don't do that on television, but doing miracles. Mm-hmm. you now have access to the behind the scenes yeah. you you seem to know every other man of god mm-hmm. you seem to think he is of that character is of that behavior mm-hmm. so most of those people have gone back into the world mm-hmm. just to support what you're saying that when iniquity is at work mm-hmm. all that that man of god is coming to do is to rob people of an opportunity to be born again mm-hmm. their love for God will disappear. Mm. You will do things to them that they will, they will be wondering. Mm. So a man of that stage, mm. if he's still struggling in this area, mm. there's no hope for me. Mm. If our father is still doing this, if our man of God is still struggling in this area, when are we ever going to be free? Right. So it destroys their prospect. It destroys their room. it destroys their hope mm-hmm. men of that stature if he is still seeming like that mm-hmm. then you know there's no hope for you in such a place mm-hmm. you would always want to have a victorious person yes. who has overcome yes. and then when he gives you knowledge when he gives you knots and information on how to overcome mm-hmm. you kind of believe him mm-hmm. because he's no longer struggling in that area mm-hmm. you don't want to have a spiritual father mm-hmm. a spiritual man a man of god yes who is still struggling in the same area mm. that you are struggling you get to know you, you you get to know that you 
you and your, your men of God, you are meeting on the same girlfriend. <laughs> ah, come on. Come on. That whatever that he is going to do in terms of teaching, even if it's a teaching, that can be done in the absence of God. So Nicodemus doctrine and teaching, that's what we attempted to correct today. Yeah, thank you. The we, it was him and most people out there. Yes. A gift can be too big, mm. can be so explosive that you, you end up forgetting mm. to investigate whether God is present mm. or not. Because you thought that gift was God. Mm. And yet God can head over gifts. Like a man who invited his servants and he gave them talents. And the next thing he did was what? Left. Walk away. Mm. He left. Mm. And they were left with talents. Mm left with gifts, there's a possibility. You can have a gift from God and not have God who is the giver of that gift. Mm -hmm. And that gift is going to be misused mm -hmm. because you have lost the qualification, the right to be using those gifts, mm -hmm. which is Him. Mm -hmm. And that can happen. Mm -hmm. And that can happen. And that gift can become the work of iniquity. Mm -hmm. And many will say unto me, it was in your name. Yes. And I will say, I never knew you. And he's not saying you were using a child. No, he's saying you were not born again. We should have known each other first. Mm. You were supposed to have received me first mm. and then receive from me. Mm. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for this grace. We thank you for this opportunity. And we thank you for healing the sick, even as I was ministering. I'm aware of the sick that recovered and we thank you for that. Mm. Thank you for opening up even financial doors and even financial opportunities. Give your people peace and give them comfort. In the name of Jesus, I pray that every aspect of your life gets restored from today. In Jesus' mighty name. If you are not born again, you have to be born again. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I receive you tonight. I receive you tonight. Be Lord and Savior. Be Lord and Savior of my life. Of my life. Forgive my sins. 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 And wash me with your blood. And wash me with your blood. Make me whole. Make me whole. And make me complete. And make me and make me new. And make me new. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. In your name, Jesus. In your name, Jesus. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Until we meet again, stay blessed. I love you so much. May the grace of God abound and may He cause His face to shine upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. And have a wonderful night.